Hey everybody, uh, Frank here. So this is sort of like a pilot episode for a new series I want to call Project PDA. In this series I'm going to, you know, find ways to display information on Minecraft maps, like a PDA or, you know, personal data assistant, right? Um, and so, you know, just using Redstone or whatever else. Um, and so, you know, to start out with here, I just made a digital clock. Uh, it's, you know, totally functional in real time. Um, and so the way this works is the most complicated part are these displays here, right? That display the, uh, the, the numbers. Um, so each display has seven, uh, bars, right? And each of these seven bars are connected to a piston tape, right? And each of these piston tapes consist of solid blocks and uh, glass blocks, right? So every time this machine sends out a pulse, it uh, sends it to each of these seven piston tapes, so once a minute. Um, and these will, you know, push, push up one, so this will turn into a glass block, right? And these will retract. Uh, so for the next... Next time this gets a pulse, these four here will retract and these will remain extended. And uh, we can see that right here. Uh, if I push this button, right, you see it's 9.30 a.m. Push that again, it's going to go 9.31. And you can see it moved forward. The uh, It's now a glass block, so it's retracted. Uh, and so there's... There's seven of these piston tapes with ten blocks each for num or the digits zero through nine. So um, and you know they they're all connected uh, with you know long chains of redstone just to keep it nice and compact. Uh, the nice thing about maps is they can only they only see the top layer, so you can do whatever you want underneath, um, and you know they'll never know. Uh, and I'm sure there is. There's much better ways to uh, to do this. I kind of just did it the way I knew. I'm sure someone who knows what they're doing a lot better could have uh, made it a lot more compact and less messy. Um, but I got it to work this way, so this is how it is. Um, so yeah, so if you come over here, right? So one minute, it'll push it again. It goes to the two, uh, 9.32. 33, 34, 35, and while it's sending pulses to uh, all seven of those chains, it's also sending a pulse to an eighth chain down here, right? Uh, and this one has seven glass blocks and one solid block. And so for every time that one goes ten times, it'll send the glass block will be here and it'll receive a pulse down to here to the tens place, right? Which is the exact same uh, idea. It's got uh, a piston chain for each of these seven displays or little bars, right? The difference is the, these piston chains only have six uh, for the digits zero through five uh, instead of ten for zero through nine because it's the there's sixty minutes an hour, so you don't you don't need the whole uh, the all all the extra digits. You don't need seven, eight, and nine. You only or six. Yeah, you only need one, two, three, four, five, and zero. Uh, and it's the, they work the exact same way, they're just a little smaller. Uh, and we'll see that uh, when I push this five more times, right? Six, 37, eight, 39. And you can see this quartz block is one away from that. So next time I push this, the, the ones place will go to a zero, and it'll send a pulse to the tens place and turn it into a 40, right? And it takes a second to update, um, but it, it gets there eventually, right? Uh, and so now this, uh, when this one gets a pulse, right, it sends another one to this six block uh, or six, uh, yeah, six block chain, right? Um, and same ideas. So every time this one goes, just like how every time this one goes, uh, every 10 times this one gets a pulse, every time this one goes six times, this one gets a pulse. Um, so every time the ones place goes 60 times, the hours place goes once, right? You know, that's how they work. That's how 
60 minutes in an hour. Um, this one's a little different because the tens place is only only ever going to need to display a one, because um, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then back to one, right? And so this the the ones place has a twelve uh, block chain, right? And so that's to display zero through nine, and then it displays one zero. Um, or it displays one through nine, sorry. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then zero, one, two for the 10, 11, 12, right? Um, and then there's a third chain connected to the hours place. Uh, and this is just for the tens. Um, so when it, for 10, 11, and 12, it's going to receive a constant signal to extend the, the number one here. And the rest of the time, it's going to, you know, be retracted and it's going to read zero or blank, right? And so we can see that here. Um, if I push this, it'll go to 10. We can see this one got moved up one. And now the, the one here is powered and this chain is on zero. And then finally, there's a one last piston chain all the way down here, right? Um, or piston tape. And this is for the AM and PM. And this has uh, a whole line um, of solid blocks and a whole line of glass blocks. So it's 24, uh, one for each hour. So for 12 of them, they're going to be uh, powered. And for the other 12, they're going to be unpowered. And that just extends these three here to turn the A into a P uh, and vice versa, right? So we'll see over here when I push this button two more times, this is 11. And in the 12th time, it's going to change from AM to PM. If I could find this button, there we go. And there we go, yeah. Um, so you can see over here, the last, uh, quartz block got pushed off and the the glass block replaced it so now it's unpowered and it's going to read pm for the next 12 hours so this all works uh it's all automated um if i connect this copper clock here and turn it on now every minute it'll send a pulse down here it'll change that every 10 times this one gets a pulse uh this one get, will get a pulse Every six times this one gets a pulse, this one will get a pulse. And so it's completely functional, you know, digital clock. Um, as long as the chunks stay loaded, this display will, will display, you know, the actual time if you if you line it up. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, so no, let me know what you think. Um, and, you know, if you'd like to, to see more, I think there's a lot of room for cool stuff, uh, you know, with the maps um you know a lot of cool things you can do with them and i oh no uh, but if you got any ideas or anything or any suggestions just let me know um but yeah that's all for now uh thanks for watching mm -hmm.